Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the soft but still glam makeup look. So if you want to learn how to recreate it, then carry on watching. So I'm starting off by applying concealer all over the eyelid. This is going to be my eyeshadow base. And then I'm just going to blend that out and set it with a bit of translucent powder. Using Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in tan lines, this is going to be my transition and crease colour. So I'm just going to buff that through the crease and really diffuse it, making it nice and smoky. And then to add further depth, I'm going in with another Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cocoa Bear. And I'm just going to apply this through the socket to add depth. Using this pigment from MAC, this is called Tan. I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid, but first I actually spritz my brush with a bit of MAC Fix Plus Spray. And that's going to make the pigment pop and hold a lot better. I'm now going in with this bronze eyeshadow. I can't remember the name or the brand of it, but I will have it listed down in the info bar. So I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner of the eyes, starting from the very outer corner and blending it into the pigment. Using a pencil brush, I'm dipping into a darker brown eyeshadow. This is a matte eyeshadow from one of my Makeup Atelier palettes. It's in the palette, what's it called, T05. So I'm applying that dark brown, creating a V shape on the outer corner of the eyes. And I'm really building the intensity and then I'm going to carefully blend the edges. So I'm going to repeat that same step, except we are now going to use a matte black eyeshadow to add more contrast. For eyeliner, I'm just going to uh, line along my lash line. I'm not going to do any wing today. That is totally optional. You can do a wing if you like. Then I'm just going to, to do a quick clean up before we add some lashes. So for today's look, I'm using the Adele Wispies. I wanted more thickness to them, so I actually stacked two pairs together. So starting on the face, I'm applying the Becca Skin Perfector Liquid Highlighter in Opal. And I'm just applying that all over my face and then I'm also going to apply my foundation and mix it in with it so for foundation I'm using this face atelier I think you say this is the ultra foundation and it has a really beautiful medium coverage with a jewelry finish now to conceal under my eyes and brighten down the t-zone I'm applying my NARS concealer and custard this is pretty much my favorite concealer then using Inglot's HD foundation in a darker shade, this is 86, I'm going to do a bit of cream contouring, adding more definition to my face. Now of course you can use a more lighter dark shade, um, I just like to look really bronze and brown, so I always like to go a bit darker. Now to blend out that concealer, I'm using the Real Techniques sponge. Uh, this is my favorite sponge, it's really nice and affordable. The only thing is I wish it had a much smaller tip so I can get to the very corners of my eyes, but that's fine. And we're pretty much just going to blend, blend, blend and more blending. To set the concealer, I'm using one of Inglot's HD Press powders in 403. And then I'm going to use a slightly darker shade of the Inglot HD powder just to set the other areas of my face. Using Benefit Hauler Bronzer, I'm going to sculpt down my nose. Then we're going to glow it up with Becca's Highlighter in Champagne Pop. This is pretty much my go-to at the moment. Using the Bahama Mama Bronzer from The Balm, I'm going to sculpt my cheeks a little bit more. Then I'm going to apply blush. This is Romance from Makeup Geek. You guys know I'm not much of a blush person, but this one is super pretty. It's like a peachy pink, but it's a bit iridescent, like sheer in a way, so I do really like it. Now, it wouldn't be gel without smoking out that lower lash line. This is totally optional. You can keep it clean, but I like to really smoke it out. So I'm using those same browns that we use on the eye. Now I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes using MAC Pigment in Vanilla. I also like to use MAC Nylon, but if I want more of a slightly light golden shade, I will use Vanilla Pigment. So once we're done there, I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes with mascara. And that is pretty much the eyes done. So I'm going to start on my lips now. Um, I'm going to start lining and filling in my lips with the MAC Lip Liner and Spice. 
over the top I'm applying Bows in Arrow liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. And lastly I'm just going to top it off with this Jo Rare Lip Topper Gloss and Skinny Dip. So that is my completed look guys, it's bronze glory and still glam, hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Now don't forget to comment down below, thumbs up the video if you liked it, and I will see you in my next video, bye!